In this video, we're going to learn how to install and use the Vietnamese keyboard in Windows 10. Okay, type in language in the search bar, language settings. You'll see there's only English. Now let's add a language. Type in Vietnamese. It'll come up as Tinh Viet. Uncheck those boxes. You don't need them. And then you'll see it come out like that. Press on it so it will give you options. The basic typing is automatically installing. Press the add a keyboard button and click Vietnamese number key based. Remove Vietnamese telex. That's another form of typing that I'm not familiar with. Alright, so that should do it. We should now have access to the Vietnamese keyboard. The keyboard is based on typing numbers after letters. Right now I'm still on the English keyboard. So say I type A1, comes up as A1. Let's switch to the Vietnamese keyboard. When I type in A1, adds a yo suck. 2, adds a yo hui. 3, adds a yo hoi. 4, adds a yo nga. 5, adds a yo nang. 6, adds a nong. 7, adds the apostrophe tone, which is the o and the o. A8 adds the crescent, which sounds like A. D9 adds a dash to the D, which is the DO. Now if we combine several together, like A6 and 1 makes an O with a YO suck. O, O7 and 3 makes an O with a YO hoi. O, U7 and 5 makes an O with a YO nang. O, a consonant with a number doesn't work, like S1, S2. This is because with the exception to 9 that goes with a D, all the accents are combined with vowels. Not too hard, right? Yeah, ma. To change back, obviously you can just go back down there and switch to English and Vietnamese as appropriate. If none of these accents mean anything to you, then you should go through our lessons on reading fundamentals. It's designed to teach you how to read from scratch. That concludes the tutorial on how to install and use the Vietnamese keyboard on Windows. I hope that was helpful.